Hi friends, today we are going to see a simple uh, OCR character recognition using LabVIEW. So for that first we have to create our character set. Okay, So I have just opened up a Word document and I have typed A, B, C, D, E, F, G and two words I have created, one is bad and bit. Okay, So this I have to save it as an image file. Okay. So that I have actually saved it just for your knowledge. I'll just show you what I have saved. Okay. So this is my uh, data that I have captured. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The, the image that I have captured that I have saved it as an image. And two words I have uh, created. One is a bad, second one is a bed. Okay. So these are the two images I have already created bad as well as bed. Okay. Now we are going to work with this uh, particular files. So I'm going to just open, uh, first thing that I need to open here is, uh, before going into LabVIEW, uh, I'm going to traverse into the LabVIEW folder. Here we have something called as Vision Assistant. Okay, I'm going to use this Vision Assistant. I'm just clicking on it. Okay, I'm using a Vision Assistant. So once the Vision Assistant loads up, I'll just uh, expand it. Okay. So what we are going to do is an OCR character recognition. So in the last end you see identification. There you have OCR. So before that first you have to open the image. So I'm just opening that particular image. Uh, I have named it as um, test1.jpg. I'm just opening the image test1.jpg. This is the image that we have created. Okay. So the first option is OCR. We are actually first training this image. Okay. That's the first step. We have to create a trained character set. So I'll just click on OCR. Now uh, we go into the training session. First, you have to define a character set file. See here, character train. You have a character set file. You put new character set file. As soon as you click on new character set file, it will open up a window like this. Now we need to train. So first, I'll recognize the first character A. So it does not know. See, so it, it shows that question mark. So this is the text red. It does not know that it. So what is the correct test is? I'm just going to put it as A. I just put it as train. Okay. Uh, in the similar way, I have to choose all the characters. I'll just put uh, B. Then I'll choose the third character. So I'll just put it as C. I'm just training. See each step I'm training. Now when I choose D, it automatically shows it as B because it is almost uh, resembling B. So I'll just put the correct train as T and I'll choose the uh, fifth character. I'm going to train it as E and I'm going to choose um, the character F. So it shows as E but I'm just training it as F. The variations I'm just showing. Uh, it will be great if you able to show different uh, character variations. G. Actually, I have chosen only one font here. Just for example, I am just choosing the correct uh, second H. Okay. Now, uh, it has been trained for these characters. You can see here, f uh, you have the six, um, seven variations are there. Okay. Now, I need to save this uh, character set file. Okay. I'm just training it as uh, uh, test underscore uh, train one. Test underscore train one. That's the name of the file. See the extension is dot abc. I've just saved it. Okay. Now we don't require um, Vision Assistant. I just go into LabVIEW. Okay. So what we'll do is that I'll just create a new file. I'll just create a new VI. Okay. So I'll just take up the block diagram of the VI. So um, what we need to do is that we need to first uh, uh, read that image. Okay. So to read that particular image, that, so we have the two images, dad, bed, bad, and bed. Okay. We need to read those two images. Fine. So for that purpose, I'll just go into uh, uh, expand the menu. I go into vision and motion. Under vision utilities, I'll just uh, I'll just keep this one as of now. So first, I need to go for image. So whenever we want to create a new image, uh, first you to use iMac create. 
I need to give a uh, image name so I'll just give it as a constant I want to extract some words okay I want to extract some uh, words data okay so finally I need to give what is the type of image OCR works only with a uh, grayscale image so you need to choose it as grayscale fine so here is the uh, once this is the array which uh, tells your memory that it is an image now we need to uh, read this image I'll just use read file so this image reference goes to here and I need to mention the file path I'll create a control for this purpose and um, use file path type I have to give false because I'm specifying it it should be in grayscale okay so I want to load a particularly only a grayscale image fine I'll just go into the front panel so I will load the image uh, bad.jpg okay so bad.jpg image is loaded here I want to see this image here so for this purpose I'll just go into uh, vision I, I'll choose an image display so this will actually show you this image now we'll see just, just, just connect this image out now if I just run you're, you're able to see the image the image is BAD okay now the actual fun starts we'll go into machine vision we'll go into machine vision we have a, a toolbox called OCR I'll just go into OCR so first you have to create a OCR session I'm creating an OCR session then I have to read the character set file okay so you have iMac OCR read text 4 okay so first I have to uh, before that I have to load the character set here you have the character set I'll just open it uh, for your reference I'm just enabling the labels so that uh, you can see what is there so this is character set file so I'm just going to give this as a reference and uh, I need to give the exact uh, character set file where it is okay so create a, a constant so I need to locate that file where the file is located so the train set that we have used okay so test one dot train dot ABC okay uh, sorry this one test dot train one dot ABC uh, I'll just um, uh, get into the prop uh, if you see here I can just get this file I'll just copy this address okay I'll just copy this address come back to lab view so I'm just going to give uh, the data so slash and the file name is uh, I'll just copy it test underscore train one dot ABC I just copied it I'll just come back to my lab view session so here I'm just going to give a slash and this is the character set that I have recognized fine now after this what we need to do is that we need to read that image okay so for that I'm going to use a read text okay OCR read text so this is the OCR session reference and the image is coming from here okay so this is the image that we have defined what it has to do is it has to read the string okay so I'll just create a indicator this is my output uh, string and um, also once this entire operation is opened this session has to be closed so I'll just go for dispose OCR session I'll give the same reference okay so this uh, visible item is a label this is a read text and this visible item is a uh, dispose session fine now we'll go into the front panel already we have uh, loaded the image so if you run it is able to recognize the characters BAD okay I'll just load the next image so we'll have uh, bed.jpg okay this is the bed.jpg image we have created I'll just give OK I'll run it so it has identified the characters B E D okay so that's how you do a simple character recognition using um, uh, OCR in image uh, lab view okay we, we have used um, vision assistant first to train your characters and create a character set 
the character set is saved with the extension dot abc then we have loaded that uh, particular uh, file with the help of this particular thing and this is actually the image uh, we want to recognize so from that image using this character set it has recognized what is the output okay so you can very well try for the entire set of abc with the different patterns so that it will be able to so the better uh, the training data the amount of training data if it is more better it will be able to recognize the output fine thank you